The dude microwaved his phone, <laughs> thinking, oh, let me microwave it. That will dry it up. Have you not watched any of the Mr. Beast videos where he puts the stuff in the microwave? Hey, what's up, dudes? It's Pat, and um, me and Mike are back for another podcast today. Um, so, Mike, I don't actually think we've talked too much about this. Um, so, I heard you have the clap. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that was Cloud. That was Cloud. Uh, that was that was cloud. cloud. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, first thing, actually, guys, definitely, um, I don't know if it's subscribe, follow, whatever you call it, our TikTok, I had to make a new one, mine got banned, I guess someone hacked it or something, I don't know, and, like, now I'm gonna post all the adult things I never posted, I went through my phone, I have, like, a hundred TikToks to post. There's a lot of hardcore p- on that TikTok. <sighs> yeah. TikTok, whatever, like, that is what we're going <laughs> with for that. Anyways. Yeah, Pat, Pat's TikTok, I mean TikTok. Shh, stop with that. <laughs> alright <laughs> wait for my OnlyFans alright before I show the Tic Tac uh, okay. clouds. anyways my mom said she can't watch my podcast anymore <laughs> <laughs> literally I'm walking into the door Pat's like this is gonna be really funny I ordered a bunch of booze and my parents are there and you have to walk in and it was so awkward <laughs> anyways okay so Mike I don't think we actually talked too much about this in the past but like like, growing up as a kid in school, like, how were you? What do you mean, how was I? Like, I couldn't read. <laughs> you still can't read. I still can't, yeah. I'm like, I still can't read. I mean, um, like, as, like, a, what would you be considered, like, growing up? I feel like I just knew everyone. Like, I was just a, a, a normal dude that knew a lot of people, you so know? Like, I wasn't, po- I wasn't popular, but I just, my circle would, like... Uh, kind of like a Venn diagram, you know, like all my circles would overlap, you know. Okay, okay. Because I was always because I would do I would play multiple sports, so like I kind of knew like football people, basketball people, um, knew like the like rich or preppy kids, knew like the not so wealthy kids. Um, but you know, like, I feel like I knew a whole lot of just random people. I was only super close with a handful of people, though, you know. But like, yeah. I, I would say I definitely knew. A good amount of people. Before I jump into that, I do want to say, um, go to Mike's Instagram and go to his um, DMs, and I want you to talk shit to him, because we were about to record the podcast, and he's like, some bitch is calling me right now. <laughs> Hands <laughs> up on me! You know, I went here for five minutes not knowing what's going on. Like, dude, like, was, fucking, I don't, dicks before bitches, I don't know what the fucking say. <laughs> it was so important. Oh, the saying is hoes before bros, I believe. No, bros before hoes. You got it wrong. Uh, that was your mistake. That's a little gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, anyways, growing up, I changed so much. Like, I was all over the f***ing place. Like, I was, like, a huge, like, bully, like, in elementary school for some reason. <laughs> you still are a bully. No, I'm not. You're just poor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I kind of was. Which, I, don't, I mean. So, some would say I'm the bottom 1%. Some would just say you're at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, other than being the bottom, what? You'd beat people up when you were a kindergartner? Or wait, how old? When did this start? <laughs> All of elementary school, I was kind of like, that was kind of a bully, which was confusing because when I went to middle school, I became very nice all of a sudden. I didn't, I wouldn't say I had a lot of friends in elementary school. Dude, I got suspended in elementary school. Who gets suspended in elementary school? I, I honestly, I don't have an answer for that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, serial killers. Um, yeah, um, what's his name? Shit, I don't know. Mm. But, Jeffrey Dahmer. Bam. I, I thought that's what you were going to say, too. But, like, I was a little, like, I wasn't, like, I don't even know why I'm talking about it, but, like, everyone, like, changes so much throughout their life. I think that's important, like, an important thing in life, you know? Yeah, it's so important to evolve, man. Yeah, I started... Really shitty. <laughs> <laughs> then got pretty good, then really shitty again. Uh, it's like a graph. It's like, <laughs> or a wave. It's a wave. It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> oh, I didn't have many friends then. Middle school, like, and like, it's so weird because like talking to people in like Europe and the UK, it's like they don't have like elementary, middle, and high school. They're like called different things. They're like different years. And I just, I'm not smart enough to comprehend what they're talking about. I feel like half the time. I go to uni. Where do you go? Uni. Oh, yeah, uni. Which one are you? Unicorn? I don't give no f- <laughs> You go to college? I'm like, uni. I'm like... 
I dropped out of college. I swear to God, in Denmark, they were like, no, there's college and there's uni. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I thought they were the same thing. It threw me off a lot when I was there. I have no idea. But anyways, um, go, sir. Mm-mm, no, you go ahead. Oh, no, 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 daddy, you go. Daddy, chill. <laughs> I was going to say, so did you play any sports? Like, all right, let's, like, fast forward a little bit out of middle school, like, back to high school. Did you do any sports? Oh, uh, dude, not in, like, high school. Um, like, I feel like during, like, middle school, like, or summer or whatever, I would do uh, basketball sometimes. Like, I joined, like, one of those, like, summer, like, league things. Um, also, bowling I was good at, which you... <laughs> you, you know I, yeah, I mean. yeah, you are good at bowling, yeah. Um, in high school, okay, so I was, like... Very into weightlifting at that time in high school. Yeah, we. I want to dive into how crazy your fucking high school was. Dude. Okay, so like I literally, I did sign up for football. I did the first day of football. It was like an eight-hour practice or something. It was so long. Oh my! It was ridiculous. <laughs> Why were we so bad? I don't know. Probably because we were exhausted. Um, I did that. I did the eight-hour practice. Then I went to the gym, and I was so tired at the gym after that. I was like. I don't want to do this, so I just did one day. I was like, I don't want to ruin my weightlifting. So I literally just left, like, after that. My other friend, what he did, he played, like, the I'm going to get some girls card. Um, he stayed till picture day, so he'd be in the picture in the yearbook, and then he quit. <laughs> did you get a varsity jacket or no? Like a football jacket? No, like I don't think jacket? so, but uh, pretty funny. Uh, but, no, dude, I didn't really, like, do sports because I was so into powerlifting. That's when I competed in powerlifting was in um, high school. So, I didn't really want to do any sports. Every sport interrupts, like, your weightlifting. At least in my opinion. Yeah, no, that's fair. I'm not sure how much we can talk about this either, but, dude, you were a hustler way back when you were a wee little lad, dude. You were making fucking bands as a young kid, dude. You talking about playing poker? Yeah, man. Yeah, I've never had a real job. <laughs> yeah, Pat straight up has never had a real job. <laughs> No, I didn't. I feel like throughout, like, my life, like, I always, like, saved my money, like, even as, like, a kid. And then when I became, like, almost old enough to gamble, I started gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Internet, for that. And, um, <laughs> okay. So, like, throughout high school, I didn't, I'm not going to say I did good in high school. I do believe I want to be a good influence and say you should all try while you're in school. I kind of just... Didn't do that. Exactly. Oh, high, high school, middle school, all that shit's super important. That's like the fundamentals. Yeah. And that's when you can start the pivot and go, like choose your own ways. You know what I mean? Because yeah, no, you some, need to know how to learn, how to read and write, etc. Otherwise, you can't self-educate. Oh, yeah. No, these things are the most important things. I'd say high school and below. Because you learn things you need to like do better in life after. It doesn't have to do with going to college. Just to do better in life, you need to have those like general knowledge type things to do. I didn't do the yep. best. I think I graduated in the bottom five of my class. Um, <laughs> and a couple of my friends were below me. So, like, we didn't do my best. I do regret it a tiny bit. Um, but not a big deal. But anyways, the poker thing. So, I started doing that because, um, oh, dude, I was into gambling. I'm really good at math. That's, like, my one, like, my one good subject. You've mm, seen it. 482 divided by 18. Dude, I'm not doing this right now. <laughs> I can't stare at the screen. Wow, you literally just showed everyone. 482, that you got 40, it now. Oh my God. 42 divided by 18. No, oh, four, I, I don't even remember what I said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> yep, continue. Uh, so 440 is 30. <laughs> I hate you for this. Um, See, I'm atrocious at that. That's like 43 so with a nope. remainder of something, I think. But you, oh, it's definitely decimals, 100%. I, oh, I know. That's why I didn't want to do it. I'm like, I can, All right, okay. I can do it if I just sit here and like look with my eyes closed. Look with, just don't look at you and don't listen to you for three minutes. Sure, I can do it. But I'm trying to commentate the podcast. You're a horrible person. <laughs> 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 okay. okay. All right. Okay. I wanted to say a couple things about poker, and I wanted. To yeah. Say no. Yeah. Hundred percent. Okay. So I used to play quite a bit, like eight hours a day, and made a good amount of money um playing poker as a. You wanna you wanna drop that information? You know, and give everyone a little hope. You could be a professional. You you make you make north of five k in one game. 
Dude, that would not be that is not that normal, honestly. But I have. But of did course. you? You have okay, and you were young. Oh no, I was a kid. I was like 17, 18 and, years and, old. Hey, that that's crazy that you can make over five thousand dollars in one. But week. I just want to say one thing. I don't know if I'm gonna get canceled for this one. <laughs> Lucas, edit if you have to. F you, Obama. Um, he literally banned online gambling in the U.S. when I was getting good at it and making money. And everyone that was a professional poker player had to move to other countries. I was 18. I couldn't move to another country, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a college degree after that. <laughs> That's so funny. So, um, sorry, girl up and walked in, staring at her ass. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, so, so at next that, episode. <laughs> <laughs> so at that point, like, um, you know, I went to college. I was so confused in college. That's why I'm not like I'm not a huge fan of college. Like, Dude. as someone who's went to, I don't want to like tell people not to go because. It's not a bad thing to do, but, like, oh, my God, did I waste a lot of time in my life. I wasted so much time. Okay, for those of you that don't know, for those of you that are not in college yet, I knew you had to apply to get into college. Dude, you got to apply to graduate. I what? didn't know I that. I didn't have so, to do that. <laughs> I did, apparently, bro. I, my advisor, like, texted me, like, or emailed me, like, eight months later. He's like, hey, dude, like, why didn't you graduate yet? And I'm like... I don't know. I thought I did. Like I did the last cr like couple it's credits. Kind of I remember you telling me this actually, dude. It was the. I was like, are you kidding me? Like he was like, oh yeah, you got to apply for that. And I'm like, no one announced that. Well, I had three thousand unread uh, school emails. <laughs> <laughs> so it was probably somewhere in there. But like, dude, like why? Like just give me my diploma and let me move on with my life. But uh, yeah, that. Um, so yeah. Make sure you uh, get Apply. your ducks in line to graduate, yeah. <laughs> no, dude, I kind of remember you talking about that, like, a couple, like, years ago. About, like, oh, you know, I'm graduating now. I'm like, did you graduate? You're like, no. <laughs> I, I was like, fun. what the heck? I was like, I did what they said. But then, he, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so for me, I didn't have to do that. But, like, when I went to college, oh, my God, was I confused. I'm like, I like exercise. I'm doing exercise science, right? But also, mm. when I applied for college, I did so bad in high school, no place accepted me. I got not there was not one college that would accept me into college. So I was like, okay, going to community college because you don't have to apply for community college. So I do yeah. two years there, like it was fine. Um, then I transferred to like the local normal college. I went to Southern in Connecticut. If any of you go there or know someone who goes there. I think it has like a 20% graduation rate <laughs> when I looked it up online. What is, is, what is everyone doing? What the I don't know. I didn't live there. Doing, I, are I they just doing drugs? Dude, I don't know. I never had the college experience because I lived at home and I just drove there. Fair enough. So like I went there. I did exercise science. I have like pretty bad anxiety. So like, oh my God, I hate the first day. The first day. Every time they're like, hey, go up, introduce yourself in front of the class. I'm like. I, I hated the icebreakers, yeah. No, so what I started doing is I just wouldn't show up the first week <laughs> to ignore that. You wouldn't show up syllabus week, the easiest week? No, I wouldn't. I didn't show up, and then what I would do instead is I would transfer my class and be like, oh, I wasn't there the first week because I transferred my class. So I would just tra mm. I'd be transferring around. <laughs> I'd be like telling my parents I'm going to school. Sorry, Mom. I would sit on a bench for like eight hours, <laughs> and then I would come home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend anyone does that. Um, you live the most interesting life. Like, oh my god. <laughs> no, because, okay, I'm, I remember one thing. I think this is the girl, and I hate you, um, that, that ruined it for me. It was this one girl at community college. Like, it was exercise science class, some kind of exercise science class. I go in, I'm talking to some old lady. You would have loved her. Um, mm. She was like 50 or something. She was my partner. We had to talk to each other, then introduce each other in front of the class. Oh, that's not that bad. No, I didn't like that at all. Um, and then she's asking about steroids, and I'm like, I've got nothing against them. And she's basically like, he loves steroids. And I was like, she just embarrassed me in front of the whole class. After that, I never did it again. I was like... <laughs> well, Pat, even. you do do a lot of steroids, so... no. 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 <laughs> no. No, 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 no.
<laughs> no, but dude, I literally would just go to school the first week. I'd sit on a bench, eat like a healthy lunch, and then a healthy dinner, then walk back through the ghetto home because there was no parking spots in college. Thank you very much. I literally was. It gave me so much like driving anxiety trying to get a parking spot that I would just park in the absolute ghetto. It was scary. There's homeless people coming up to me asking me for money on my walk to school every day. Um, I didn't have. So that's any money. why. That's why you give them your pants. Yeah, but then I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> afford the pants at the moment. Like I wouldn't give. Them, I'd be, I was literally like, dude, I have less money than you have right now. I'm in college. I can't even afford to be in college. Less money than me? Are you sure? I lied. My parents paid for my college. Thank you, mom and dad. Uh, yeah, your mom and dad were so sweet. They were so worried about us when we came in the house. <laughs> Uh, oh, but dude, college, like, I literally, exercise, you know what happened to me? Because of anxiety, I know a lot of people can, like, understand this. Dude, I got two exercise science classes where they said, you need to do 40 hours, like, in, like, a gym, shadowing someone, or, like, in a school, and the- what? piss. <laughs> 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 um, dude, my anxiety was like, that's too much. If, I just never right. went to the classes again. After that, I literally just never went to the classes again. Switched my major completely because I'm like, oh my god, I don't like being around so many people, which is super weird since I'm a YouTuber. Um, yeah, it is so funny seeing you not like to be around people. Pat will literally have me like go call, either call people for him or interact with people for him because I love talking to anyone and everything. I'll go talk to a rock if I have to. So will but, Ethan. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, like, I have actually really bad phone anxiety, too. Like, that's even worse than real life. I don't know why. It's super weird for Crazy, me. Crazy, yeah. yeah. Um, so, like, I switched my major to math, which is one of the hardest majors there is. Um, yeah, but you've always been good at math, dude. Ever since you were, like, 10. Just said that's, math, like, 43 so with a remainder of something, I think. Oh, but, dude, we're, we're talking about me competing with, like, full-on herds of Asian people. Like, uh, <laughs> no, I remember. I remember talking to like the counselor person or something. And he's like, you know, like how hard this is. You got to complete like calculus like three, and like these are the kind of jobs you get. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I go into it, and I'm like, man, I might actually have to study for the first time in my life right now. <laughs> It was just such a hard degree. It's like if basically it was like I forget what it was called. Something it started with an A. I'm sure someone will mention in the comments. Like there's only a couple things you could become with a mathematics degree. It makes like a lot of money, obviously. Um, and the other one's a scientist. It was like there was like two things you could become with a mathematics degree. And I was like, all right, yeah. And then after like a year of that, I was like, I'm switching again. Um, <laughs> dude, then I switched to um, liberal arts. You know what that is, right? No. <laughs> okay, liberal arts is when you take, basically, you major in two things, but it's, like, a little easier. So I kind of was, like, I could do, like, psychology and philosophy, like, because I already have some classes in those as electives. Oh, maybe I did that. I, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> then, a couple years later, I got expelled from college. You are such a bad student, dude. No, I'm, I'm not telling people to do what I did. I'm just saying, don't. Don't. <laughs> What? Why did you get expelled? Um. So the weird thing, and this is like an American thing that I found out. So you can be expelled from having bad grades. Did yeah, you know you're that? On academic suspension. Yeah, I got ex- I got academic expulsion. Is what they call it. Damn. So you really sucked it. My GPA <laughs> was. I think it was a one point six one. Is what it was. Hey, that just goes to show you don't even need school. Look at Pat. Pat's rich, but according to the sub- subscribers, is <laughs> poorer than me. <laughs> I know. He's, like, he's back because he ran out of money. I'm like, no. <laughs> Look at my setup. It's so nice. <laughs> yeah, Pat's setup is premiere. <laughs> Baby, I think he's an idiot. He said he microwaved his phone for three seconds. Thought it was funny. Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Pat. Pat, can you hear me?
I don't know what the f doing. Or explode. He's so stupid. <laughs> what are you doing? I think I broke my phone. Hold on, give me two seconds. You f idiot. <laughs> Dude, I thought we were taking a shot. I thought that's what you wanted to do. Then you microwaved your phone instead. <laughs> Pat, can uh, can can you send me a golden iPhone, please? No, you don't get one. You don't deserve one now. <laughs> Why would you microwave your phone? Cause it has water in it. You thought that would get rid of the water in it? <laughs> this should be in the video. What the. F Dude, oh my god. <laughs> it is in the video. Lucas cool clip this in. Oh my oh, god. Fucking idiot. Oh no. You should have gotten a humidifier. <laughs> I don't know if that's no that's the wrong thing, I think. A dehumidifier. Get rid of the water in the air. One of those. Uh. So we had a little intermission. And honestly, I don't even know how to say this without saying something to get me demonetized. But you are so stupid. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I had a good story going. I was gonna, it was going to be a comeback story about me, you know, getting, like, kicked out of college and coming back and raising up in life. But no, now we have to talk about you. All right, this dude got his phone wet because I don't know what he was trying to do with it. I don't know. He probably tried to put it in his fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my and then, god. Like, it doesn't uh. charge, right? So his phone's not charging. <laughs> and, like, we go on a small break. We usually have, like, a couple breaks in the video because it's kind of long. Dude puts it. Pat's gotta take his shit and <laughs> Dude, you can't even try to roast me right now. <laughs> and I do those both at the same time. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. Anyways. Um, I see like something, he, I hear my microwave opening because it's in my house and it looks so <laughs> dirty. I'm like, ew, what'd you do to my microwave? Um, Ugh. and then all of a sudden he's gone. The dude microwaved his phone <laughs> thinking, oh, let me microwave it. That will dry it out. Have you not watched any of the Mr. Beast videos where he puts the stuff in the microwave? <laughs> no, I don't watch YouTube. <laughs> okay, for my stuff. So all right, well, first of all, I gotta use my phone while I can. Sorry for sorry for YouTube for doing this while I'm YouTubing, but I only have ten percent left, and it won't charge, and it won't use cell phone service. So I gotta respond to these whores while I. Oh can. my god! But yeah, you I put roast it this man and his DMs because right now he's literally making. It so normally we look at each other through the phones. So now I don't even know where to look, and he needs to respond to. Nice young ladies. He's super, super sexist. Also mention that when you that, talk to him. And my phone. Ah, oh, bro, my phone's bro. I can't believe that. Where were we at? Sorry. Okay, guys. so apparently, like, <laughs> he can, yeah, sorry, he can talk on the Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah, it's, I was, like, put it, yeah. Oh, I can talk on the Wi-Fi, but not cell phone service. My phone won't charge. Hey. So we'll probably be wrapping this video up a little bit early so I can go to Verizon and cry about how their phones suck and aren't I'm microwavable. I'm telling you right now, you got to last another 18 <laughs> minutes. I'm not wrapping this up too soon. It's for them. You got an hour and 18 40. minutes. You got an hour and 40. I br you got 16%, guys. That's <laughs> what you got. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I got expelled from college. Then I did the unthinkable. Oh, <laughs> uh, I went to, I think, ratemyprofessor.com. I recommend this site. And it says, who are the easiest <laughs> professors? Um, and I literally was allowed to go part-time, right? So I, um, I, found, I was allowed to take three classes. So I found the easiest professors in the school. And within one semester, I went from a 1.61 to a 2. And then you were, I was allowed back in the school again. <laughs> All A's for me. Uh, that boy... Uh... A scholar! Then I switched my degree to psychology because it seemed like that was the closest one I was to. And now I have a psychology degree and I use it to manipulate every single one of you to watch my videos. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike to be my friend. Yeah, he manipulated me into putting my phone in the microwave. Fuck you, Pat. Dude, I would not have told you to do that. I'm like, I committed like my night to recording this and then all of a sudden like there's an hour break because he microwaved his phone. And, like, you didn't even <laughs> record it or anything. like. Bro, what was crazy is I put it in there so quickly. Like, I didn't expect it to, like, fuck it up. So, Verizon, I'm sorry for that. And I don't know what to tell them. <laughs> Dude, you're going to have to go in there and be like, hey, like, <laughs> I thought it was uh, <laughs> Hot Pocket. I got confused. I was high. 
<laughs> I'm letting, I don't know what to do. Oh, I would not uh, be able to say it at all. I'd be like, something wrong with it. Okay, that reminds me of a story. So once um, I thought it was a good idea to um, try to pick a lock with my credit card. So like mm-hmm. I'm like using it to like get in between there and try to push the metal out of the way. You know what I mean? Completely messed. Yeah, I messed yeah. up the card completely. I go to the gas station. I put it in. It's stuck in there because it was so bent in my card from what I did. And then I had to go in there and I didn't want to tell them like what I did because that's stupid and embarrassing. So I was like, yeah, like my little brother was like messing with my card and he bent it and it's stuck in there. Do you have pliers? That's exactly what I said. And I took pliers and I yanked my card right out of that machine. Did I f*** it up? The, the card was, there, there was nothing to do with the card anymore. It was messed up. I, I killed the card. Don't try to pick <laughs> a lock of a door with your credit card. It's a horrible idea. I was only, tw- I was yeah. 24 when that happened. <laughs> See, and I was 24 when I microwaved my phone, so... <laughs> Anyways, you know, this was supposed to dive into important subjects, but you ruined everything. <laughs> this was a smart, know. intelligent subject. Intended went to complete stupidity. The whole thing, <laughs> we talked about, like, starting our own business and stuff, like, and that was, like, where uh, this was supposed to lead, because I completely believe after going to college, like, if you don't know what you're doing, I feel like college is good, like, you're not sure what to do, like, it's good to go take some classes and stuff, but, like, Honestly, working for someone else is mm-hmm. usually not the best decision, in my opinion. You want to do what you lo- you want to do something you love for the rest of your life, and usually that's going to be something you choose. And college, I personally don't feel, and parents might hate me for this. Personally, don't feel it's actually needed. Yeah, but I've never you become a you can become a stripper. Yeah, that's what Mike does. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I got it because apparently. Uh... It's just the easiest way to do things. I mean, like, when I was in college, I started YouTube, and then by the time I, like, graduated, I was making the same amount of money I would make um, if um, I got a normal job, like, my first job, you know what I mean? Like, I was making, like, why are you looking at me weird? Because you make a lot more money than if you worked No, when I first, no, I'm saying when I graduated. Oh, I graduated, I'm making, like, $100 a day type thing. Yeah, that sounds, yeah. Okay. Like thirty six thousand a year or something like that would be like mm-hmm. kind of what I was um, making and like you know my mom sorry again mom luckily you stopped watching um, she <laughs> as of today <laughs> she was like um, you really need to get a normal job and I was like but I'm like doing so good now like this could be much better and my dad was all for it it was like fine you know so like I worked I finally was able to like work hard because I would make like three videos a day. While I was going to college full time, it'd be like five, six o'clock in the morning while I was making videos. That's insane. That's a grind right there. Yeah, but then like after that it was like I went from making like a hundred dollars a day to like a thousand dollars within like a couple months. And then my mom was like, Hello family on Facebook. This is my son's YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because she said the exact opposite about the podcast. <laughs> oh no, she's like, oh, I don't want to show anyone in the family the podcast. <laughs> um, but it's a new time, it's a new day, you know what I mean? Like, we're doing something different now, like, this is adult content, which my mom would not be the target audience, of course. We're just keeping it real, honestly. It's not even adult content, it's just real content. I mean, it is real content, but it is for adults, I would say, right? I mean, or like... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, we're just stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. You are, especially. Microwave your phone. Dude, if you recorded that, that would have been so funny that you, like, messed up your phone. Verizon, sponsor me. Give me a free phone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was an iPhone, so it was completely worthless anyway, so it's not a big deal. <sighs> Dude, Samsung suck. Whose phone is working perfectly right now? Hey, I see you. You see me. They see me, they see you. It's working pretty well. <laughs> yeah, but they're not seeing us through that. My webcam is the one they're seeing me through. Through your through your pigeon? My pigeon? Mm-hmm. A baby pigeon? Because you know they're real, right? I googled mm-hmm. it. <laughs> oh, did you? No, no, they look weird. No wonder who. <laughs> 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 they're gross. That's why we don't look it- at them. Ew, ew, ew. But I was trying to make a big point that like starting your own business and doing something you love is super important. Mike has his own business. Go. 
Some would say I'm pretty passionate about it. Um, I don't want to go too much into it, obviously. But yeah, like owning your own time is so much more valuable than working for someone. Like I used to work at a bar and I would be there for a full week for 40 hours and it wouldn't amount to the same amount of money that I make in a day or two days. And I'm not even working full days. Like, when you own your own time, you kind of get to facilitate, like, what you can make, you know? Like, I feel like $1,000 a day, that means you're making roughly about $100 an hour or or a little bit more, you know what I mean? Um, and that's kind of when you get to learn, like, a little bit more of the freedom side of things, you know? Um, obviously, like, you, like, you're not even at home. Like, I'm in your home and you haven't been here since, I don't even Dude, know. Dude, a while, like, six months <laughs> at this point, yeah. Yeah, dude, wait until you see the size of the turd I took on your bed. And Ethan. Ethan took a fat turd. Dude, you know Cloud, that's his house right now? He'll kill you. It's always been Cloud's house. Let's not even... Oh, no, it is Cloud's house. Like that. He's the richest cat in the world. He lets me live there. Thank God. Thank you, Cloud. I know he's watching this right now. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Cloud. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> um, but, like, I'm, I'm big for definitely, like starting your own thing and like enjoying your life in the way you want to because the problem with getting a normal job is they are kind of getting all the profit while you're getting this like little like piece of the pie you know what i mean mm -hmm. like so like let's say you go sell like uh i don't even know like let's say you go spray for bugs or whatever you do pest control mm -hmm. And they're going to pay you $20 an hour. And, like, you're going to hear the customer be like, oh, okay, here's $125 to do this 10-minute task. But you're only getting paid $20 an hour. Like, you know, like, you think you'd be able to take, like, the knowledge that, like, you accumulated from, uh, I don't know, spraying bugs or pest control, whatever, whatever your little side hustle is, whether it's, like, making lemonade or whatever it is. But then you'd be able to, like, apply it to yourself. And instead of, like working for that company for $20 an hour doing this thing, you go do that thing for yourself for $125, you know, you mm -hmm. cut out, like, you're basically the middleman, you know, like, you might as well just, but the thing is, is, like, perseverance, like, not everyone has, like, the means to just go ahead and start a company and just... So it's a lot more work, that's the thing. Yeah, sometimes you gotta work two jobs. Yeah, and you gotta work all day long, like, you have to sacrifice a lot of things. Even in YouTube, people are doing this now, like, they're, like, working under someone else. They're taking the majority of profit from the channel, because they're, like, pushing the channel. And, like, it's crazy. To yeah, so they're, sub, they're subcontractors, essentially. Yeah, it's a big pyramid scheme. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. We should start one. Yeah, no, that's kind of what's going. That's kind of what's going on right here. I'm under Pat's pyramid scheme right now. Yeah, I'm trying to turn it into a the popular, bigger pyramid. The popular MMO pyramid. <laughs> I want it to be the biggest pyramid possible, so I'm like, I'm working on that right now. I know those are the most profitable things in life. As I was saying, like having your like life the way you want it is the most important thing. That's why I'm able to like kind of enjoy myself and do things I want to do. And you too, like you have your own time, like. You schedule things yeah, yeah, like no. in your job for like the time you want it to be at. So you have the other time free. If you're in control, if yeah. someone's in control of you, you have to do everything whenever they want. Like, and it's much more stressful. And I feel like stress is like one of the things that kills people. It's funny because like when you, if you do work for yourself, like you are working all the time, you know, mm -hmm. like whether I'm like trying to chase, like, like literally dealing with some, some client not paying me and it's like okay like that's annoying like i've left you two invoices like what's hello but anyways like you're you know so you're like staying up late like dealing with that you're the first one in first one out like you're the one cleaning up like setting up you know packing up all that stupid shit but like in the long run like it's worth it you know like you're gonna eventually have freedom i, mean, I feel like in general like hard work pays off like no matter what i mean yeah that's what like as a human like that's what you're supposed to do you know you like you're supposed to have a purpose like you're not supposed to just lay around and do nothing that's why there's so much depression you know like there's so many people not doing anything just hanging out being dormant i know i'm a lot more ornery when i'm not like moving around like working out running around causing a ruckus you know yeah 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 i know like, you're a lot healthier when we're working out like that th those three weeks was the healthiest i've ever seen 
I mean, you're borderline not healthy from trying to be too healthy. <laughs> oh, dude, I honestly felt so unhealthy. I was like, I felt like I was going to die. I was like, dude, I feel like I'm going to die. I can't tell if I'm dreaming right now. I just worked out for eight hours. I didn't eat anything. And I'm just like looking around like I'm on drugs. <laughs> I'm just, I was like, obviously a middle ground is important. I'm nuts. So, like, I do everything like that. Are you talking to a girl right now because the video just paused? No, I'm trying to see if my phone's still broken. Are you talking to a dude right now? Like, what are you doing? Like, I'm talking to you. Yeah, but like, make me feel special. I'm so confused on why it's on SOS mode. Like, why won't it find the Wi-Fi? It's comment time, but not the comment time. It's oh, comment. I love comment time. No, 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 no. Before we pivot, real quick. But like, why? Why is it doing that? Like, it can find the Wi-Fi in the room, but it can't they find the service. Work. I'm. I'm just hoping the service in your neighborhood's that fucking shitty. Oh yeah, so if you guys try to find Pat, he lives in this fucking the wilderness, surrounded by alligators and lions. You'll never find it if you try That's to. Right. Um, I think is it in the Sahara? Where are we? I don't, I don't even know. know. Every time I get here, I get blind. I get blindfolded and on a helicopter and then transported by the gate guard. So I don't really know where we are every time I come here, but. It's a strenuous process. Okay, comment time. All right, we need this. Okay, so the first comment, the most recent one, was a nice one. Because people keep making fun of me being out of shape. And someone said, Pat's not out of shape. He's just bulking for the devious cup coming in 2024. <laughs> Thank hey, God. Hey, my boy of, already knows. Two months of eating. Perfect. All right, I'm typing in Mike. Or should I type in Mike or should I type in gay? I know it means the same thing, but... <sighs> Mike or gay? Type in microwave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike. Uh, Mike is that's so uh, frustrating. Mike is beyond faded. <laughs> <laughs> wild, wild, tripping, tripping, tripping. <laughs> uh, I'm tri My phone's faded. To be honest. Do you or Mike have any more crazy strip club stories? Oh, Pat's got unlimited strip club stories. Oh no, no, that's um. Oh, this is good. You tell yours and I'll tell I mine. Mean, gonna, you tell yours. I mean, it's gonna I'll end on mine. TikTok anyways, because like you guys gotta follow my TikTok. There was a couple times. Only one is recorded with me jumping on the pole at the strip club, but I also have Ethan jumping on the pole at the strip club. I've got two of us. Oh, and we brought my little brother to the strip club. Yeah, he was twelve years old. Was he was old. an adult. <laughs> <laughs> And I, got, hey. I got all the dancers to dance on him on stage, like, and, like, I don't know if he was happy or scared, but, um... Oh, we gotta find the videos of that. He he straight up told me he was in love with the one chick. And then one of my friends who worked there was like, I want to be the one to give him a lap dance, and that was when Jess went and <laughs> gave him a lap dance. It was so funny. Because he was in, he was in, he was in college. Yep. <laughs> he was said. not in elementary school. Someone's okay. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. The, okay. 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 Um, I want some weird stuff. Okay. Oh my god! Again, why does Mike look so faded all the time? Dude, look, I, that's just racist. That's so racist. It's because mm -hmm. he's Asian. <laughs> 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 sorry. Hey, nice comment. Sorry, 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 sorry. <sighs> uh, we need to see some Pat and Mike real. Um, sorry, Pat and Mike in real life content. Dude, I, we're working on it. We're working on it. Oh, that's TikTok's gonna. Show what do you wait? What do you mean, like sex? Okay. <laughs> I swear to God, Mike is always faded. I feel like that's literally all the comments about you. <laughs> oh, dude, that's honest. I... Anyone else think Mike's high? Um, <laughs> I'm the guy who thought Mike was gay. My bad. <laughs> hold on, let me put that in. Let me put in gay. Oh no! Hopefully, they think you're more gay than me. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> okay, Pat confirmed gay. That's fine. But the one after that says, "Is the guy in the right gay?" <laughs> You're on the right side of the screen. Am I on the right? Or oh. <laughs> See, I don't even know because I haven't even watched any more videos. Yet. Okay, okay. All right. All right, let me put. Give me like a a keyword to type in, other than my name. Um. Anything. 
Mm, a little. Oh god! All right, here we go. Because it was, because it was small. And it's all people like, oh, I watched it when I was little, which is nice. I'm a little confused. Does Mike live in Pat's house now? Do you? Are you living in my house? Eh. eh. Part time. Only when I gotta take a shit. <laughs> Hey, you don't do that there. I'll kill you. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm typing in Pat. This is not nice comments that I'm reading right now. My feelings, what are they saying? What are they saying? He saw my comment calling him fat. Pat, I love you no matter what shape. And then the, re the <laughs> reply to it, dude, the reply to it was, there were thousands of comments about him being fat. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, at least, hey, you may be fat, but at least your f***ing phone works. Oh, yeah. Crazy how Pat exposed... Hold on, sorry, I said it wrong. Crazy how Mike exposed Pat for being hard. For being what? Hard. You don't remember the video. Hard? You don't remember the video. Oh, for... Did you have a boner? <laughs> you said I did. <laughs> and they said it's crazy how you exposed Alright, uh, dude, your comments are way more fun. They're a little bit more diverse. Alright, keep going. Give me a couple more. <laughs> Why is Pat so damn awkward? I didn't think I was awkward in any of these videos, actually, but thank you. Aww. Should see me in public. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a, that's a whole other Ooh. story. Yeah. Alright, okay, okay. I got a good one. Got a good one. Right, Wait. On. Is it about you? Apparently, because it says the one on the left. I'm the one on the left. He said... What is that? You, no, wait, they don't even know who you... <laughs> what? I swear to God they're saying the wrong side. They don't know the left from the right. Because they says... Uh, they says... They says... <laughs> MF on the left looks higher than the clouds. There's no way that's me. That's you. Dude, it's because the phone is slightly lower. So it looks like I'm looking down. Dude, they, they don't understand. I mean, normally I'm all down to admit that I'm high, but, like, the camera is seriously below the camera, so they don't understand, but uh, that's their problem. I'm hurt right now. I'm hurt right now. Bro, I'm just gonna be, you know, happy that this person said, I don't know what everyone is saying that Pat looks bad or whatever. He looks amazing, and his beard is pretty cool, too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and his beard is pretty cool too um but yeah uh guys i think we're gonna end it here mike needs to get his phone fixed or he's gonna not be able to do anything dude yeah i gotta go to verizon dude, you better fucking head over there man it's like you got an hour and 17 minutes now it's like a 10 minute drive Sh should we do a post podcast post phone fix podcast <laughs> just fix your phone or get a new phone all right um, I hope you guys... I just got a new phone, just, too, because the police took my last one. That was months ago, all right? <laughs> iPhones only last so long because they're cheap. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I'm sad. I need a new phone. <laughs> what the f*** do you want me to say? Go find me. We'll be down below. Follow our TikTok? I don't know. <laughs> we gotta do anal. Anal we gotta do. Not on camera.